everyone and happy Sunday to you. Sometimes I like to start off by giving a look at what our water vapor imagery looks like. This shows us where we're currently having moisture and where we're currently having drier air. As always, the drier air are the orange colors. The moisture, that's represented by the darker colors as well as the green. Now, we're not going to be tracking any storms overnight tonight and over the next couple of days as well, but we are tracking some high-level clouds. Now, they're just at the top of the troposphere. They're not going to bring us any precipitation, unfortunately. They're not going to keep our temperatures any warmer overnight either. But here's a look at the desert southwest, and we're fairly similar temperature-wise with our Texas friends, our New Mexico friends as well. Arizona, the warmest in the 70s right now. Las Vegas, my hometown, at 61 as we speak. For our particular region, our temperatures will be cooling down very shortly here. By 9 o'clock, we should be in the mid-40s. Then by 11, low 40s, and then we will be reaching the mid to low 30s across the area overnight. Here's your forecast lows. I'm forecasting a low of 30 degrees in El Paso. Yes, that is below freezing, but it shouldn't be for too many hours overnight. 33 will be the low in Las Cruces, 25 in Deming, and 35 in Sierra Blanca late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But we will make a nice rebound, as I mentioned before at the beginning of the show. Temperatures will be warming up over the next couple days. Topping out at 64 in La Union, Santa Teresa, 63 in Vado tomorrow afternoon. In El Paso County, 62. In Montana Vista, 63. In Fort Bliss, same thing in Anthony, and 65 in Fabens tomorrow afternoon. And in Hudspeth and Culberson County, we'll reach about 63 degrees in Dell City and 65 degrees in Van Horn tomorrow afternoon. Our temperatures will top out in the mid 60s by Tuesday, which is well above our average temperature this time of year. And notice our average high is starting to actually warm up. Just yesterday, we should be sitting around 57. Now, 58 <laughs> so a little bit of a change there but notice we will be a little bit cooler by the end of this next week that looks like when we'll have our next weather system move in through the area i mentioned also at the beginning of the show tuesday will be the breeziest day of the week looking at wind gusts of about 35 miles per hour out of the west so if you live on the east side of any mountains could be a little bit breezier for you then when that next weather system moves through the area Looks like winds will pick up a little bit by then as well. Your 70 forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm looks like this. MLK Day looking really nice, topping out at 63. Just a 10% chance of rain on your Tuesday. Not very confident many of us will be seeing that rain out there. A little bit breezy for Tuesday as well. Temperatures will start to cool down Thursday, Friday into the weekend, but we'll have a really nice week. <laughs>